Hey guys, welcome back to Spooky Witches UK. Um, today I'm doing a follow-up video from the Bay Horse. Um, a few things have happened since we were last there. Amelia has had a couple of experiences when she's been doing the lock-up, um, even when she's been on the bar floor doing a clean in the morning. Um, one of her experiences, she was doing the bottle list, stocking up the fridge, and she heard an almighty crash from the side of her, so she stood up, obviously there was nobody there. She's then quickly finished her jobs and left. Um, and then the day after she went in and she was seeing figures out of her peripheral vision. She chalked it down to her just being frightened from the night before. However, it is something that I need to get back in there and investigate. Um, also, Michael is okay. Nothing followed him home. However, whatever's in that pub does not like him. Does not like him being around Amelia. Seems very protective of Amelia. However, if she is the only lady like doing the finish, she is obviously... Ladies weren't supposed to do the finishes back then. So it'll just be following her around to make sure that she's doing everything she's supposed to be doing. Um, however, I don't think it's harmful at all. It just doesn't seem to like my brother. Um, now, in regards to what we found, I did realise very quickly it's dislike to my brother. Um, because when we first went into the pool room, my brother started to get some feelings of discomfort in his chest, in his shoulder area. Um, they only seemed to disappear when he left the room. However, whether that was just a freaky coincidence because he had a pain in his chest, I don't know. He was totally fine before we went in that room and it was only after we started the investigation did he end up getting these pains in his chest. Also, on one of the videos, I go into a back room with Amelia and I ask if the spirit or entity is in there and it very clearly says into the microphone that Michael is holding no and I only know it's spoken to this microphone because it isn't picked up on any other microphone that we had so it was definitely hovering around Michael I asked it if he disliked my but I asked if it was I asked if my brother bothered it and it says yeah so my brother does bother him or her um we found out there is quite possibly a minor there there is the lady in white that another member of staff has seen she just tends to sit in the corner and mind her own business um however it could be her it could also be apparently there's a spirit of a child a little boy um, I was convinced that I was hearing a little boy, however, at the time we were told there was no spirits of children there. Whether they're protecting the spirit of the child or not, I don't know. Whether there is one there, I don't know. However, I will hopefully be getting back in there very, very soon to do one last final investigation with Amelia. Um, the thing is, like... The story of the miner is quite interesting. However, if he if it is actually a miner or not, we're not sure. Whether it's this Mr. Barton character, we're not sure. The story of the miner is basically many, 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 many years ago there was a mine collapse and the upstairs to the pub was one big function room at the time, so I've been told. And when the mine collapsed, they brought all the bodies of the miners and put them in this function room. Now, all of the bodies were claimed by one. They don't know his name. Nobody ever came to claim him. Like, nobody ever, no family or anything ever came to say, yeah, he's, he's our relative. He was just left. Um, so he was a John Doe. They don't know who he was. 
we have a feeling that could quite possibly be the male presence that doesn't like my brother. Could be the one that is also very protective of Amelia. Um, just don't know. I can't give you. Unfortunately, I can't get in there at the moment due to the fact we are on a local lockdown in the area that I'm in. So until that local lockdown is lifted, I then can't get into the pub. So hopefully, once that lockdown is lifted and over and done with, I can get back into the pub with Amelia and we can bring the bay horse to a close and end that bit there. Um, have got some exciting things coming up, but I will keep them all secret for now. Um, if you don't already, go on to Facebook and follow the Spooky Witches Facebook page. If you don't follow us on Instagram, head over to Instagram, Spooky Witches UK. Um, yeah, thank you so much for watching my videos. It does mean an awful lot to me and hopefully I'll be back with scurry, more scurry, more, more paranormal. Because who doesn't love the paranormal? So stay tuned guys and if you haven't already don't forget to subscribe hit the like button and hit that bell so you get post notifications to let you know when i've uploaded thanks for tuning in guys don't forget to stay spooky witches bye